Hello brothers and sisters in Christ. I just wanted to uh, do a little walk and talk. Uh, Brother Brian put out a video showing about how people are getting kicked out of these buildings, whether it's staged or not, but a lot of them are talking about if you reject the Trinity, you're not welcome here. If you stand for the King James Bible and the Godhead of the Bible, they're kicking people out of these Babel buildings. And I know in the past, if you disagreed with the leaders, they would quietly, what they call quietly, kick you out, um, not wanting you there. Um, so they'll ask you privately to leave. They'll ask you to leave. But now they're actually telling people to get out. Could this be God? trying to get what Bible-believing Christians, King James Bible-believing, God-fearing men and women that are still clinging to these Babel buildings, could this be his way of getting them out of the Babel buildings? And there we go. I'm trying to get it where it's more light than dark. Sorry about that. But, I mean, seriously, do you think that that could be God's way of saying, get out of these Babel buildings? You know? And... It just, it's like we're getting closer and closer to the end. I know the Lord is going to be coming back soon. Um, the three things that's really getting me is I posted a video on Patreon about how they, it's one thing to say they want to build the new temple, we're going to build the new temple, but when you have the leader or leaders come out and say the command has been given to rebuild the temple, I mean, that's serious. Um, so that was one of the big things that got to me. That as far as looking and saying, Jesus is coming back soon. And the second thing was the reaction, the Trinity people reaction about kicking people out of their buildings. The reactions we've got here on Facebook when it comes to standing for um, the Godhead of the Bible. The way people are reacting and treating people. And it's just, the Trinity is a big thing as far as uh, the Catholic Church and the whole world coming together. Um, we're seeing that aspect of it that's major. The other thing I was talking to a sister in Christ about, uh, what was it, uh, California. How they're trying to outlaw the sales of Bibles. And yes, I think it's the sodomites down there that are really pushing it because they feel persecuted. Uh, I think the right word is convicted. You know, being told what they are to God. If they don't repent, they need to repent. But we got to talking and thinking about it. And if all the states start going that direction, they would have to come up with a universal world Bible that's acceptable to everyone, including sodomites. And with that going on, all these things that are start pushing towards the catching away of the body of Christ... It's just something that I've really been thinking on and wanted to throw it out there for you, for the brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, what you guys thought about this. Um, the biggest thing leading to the, to the Antichrist showing up is the One World Bible, uh, the Trinity, um, you know, they're going to start, I'm waiting for them to start hunting down people who stand for the Godhead of the King James Bible and start hunting us down and, you know, beheading us. Uh, that's how verbal a lot of these anger from these people that claim to be King James Bible believing I expect it from the Bible perversions people uh, I expect it from you know the obviously lost pagan uh, cultic religions like Mormons Jehovah's Witness Catholics but when you have people that claim to be a Bible believing Christian and they've got so much hate towards the Godhead of the Bible and they just they act like you know, they just want to kill you because you stand for the Godhead. And they're trying to kill you with their words. Um, so we're seeing all three of these things. Um, the temple being rebuilt. Uh, we're getting closer to the end, brothers and sisters in Christ. Hang in there. Remember every day to look up and say, is today today? And also say that, am I ready for you to come today, Lord? Am I doing my best to serve you? Uh, stand for your written word, fighting the good fight, uh, am I doing my best to continually clean up my life? It's a continual process till the very, very end. You know, it's not something, I'm still finding stuff uh, in my home. I just found a huge, I have a shelf area where 
all the um, books I get from the bookstore that I think are neat, I'll put them on the shelf, and when I get around to them, I get around to them. Well, I just came across a huge, huge book that's like a picture Bible dictionary type thing, and I just went, I'm almost positive they're going to have images of the Godhead and, and in there, and it's like, I'll probably end up throwing out another book. So, um, cleaning up your life is a continual process. It's going to go on forever. And uh, just wanted to throw this out there to see what you guys thought. Right now I'm getting, uh, I feed the goats, so the goats came running down, so they were going crazy. But uh, just, I want you to know my prayers go out to you, brothers and sisters in Christ, and that uh, I love you, I love my brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm praying for you, please continue to pray for me. My eyes have been doing good, but there are times like today trying to get some videos out that by the end of the day I'm like, I just can't have be in front of the computer screen it seems like for two two to four hours you know I used to play video games all day and I think that's one of the things that really damaged my eyes being right in front of a monitor or you know television you know for so long watching movies TV shows and video games but I thank you for your prayers God's getting me through this and helping me to continue to do videos and to watch studies from the brothers and sisters in Christ so I just want to let you guys know that, and I will hear from you in the comments, and love to hear your opinions on things you're seeing going on in the world, and might even people might have some stuff I haven't seen yet. So, I love you guys, praying for you guys.